In October of 2020, I uploaded the video year of mandatory cognitive dissonance in which we talked about, well, the impetus to rage against the machine or dis the cog, the cognitive dis. I doubled down on that message four months ago in Spiritual Implications of Shapeshifting Paradigms. That was a presentation part of Gnostic Sunday School 5.1. I want to show you a clip from that, but before I do, so we are clear, uh, this presentation doesn't contain any conspiracy theories or misinformation seeking to overturn paradigms. It illustrates how official paradigms have changed over time and how this pattern speaks to a larger truth embedded in COVID. So let's go over to Gnostic Sunday School 5.1 for a second. If and when the vaccine comes, and it's not likely to go through all the tests that needs to be and the trials that are needed to be done. When we finally do, God willing, get a vaccine, who's going to take the shot? Who's going to take the shot? But if Donald Trump tells us I should that we should take it, I'm not taking it. I've talked to many people who were rather surprised when they saw my earlier video highlighting some of the flip-flopping coming from politicians on the left, like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, who at this point sound like or sounded like what we would call anti-vaxxers. And I'm thinking of uh, some of the flip-flopping paradigms as being part of that manufactured cognitive dissonance phenomenon I've been talking about for over a year in which up is down one day and it's the other way around the next day. Almost literally, this is what we're being inundated with in the mainstream media. I want to look at these inversions as part of media gaslighting. They're blaming you for testing your patients while testing the patients. You've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin, and your refusal has cost all of us. This is not about freedom or personal choice. Think about it. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. Be prepared to pay. And by the way, show some respect. If the president announced tomorrow we have a vaccine, would you take it? If Donald Trump can't give answers and the administration can't give answers to these three questions, the American people should not have confidence. But if Donald Trump tells us I should take that we should take it, I'm not taking it. When we finally do, God willing, get a vaccine, who's gonna take the shot? Who's going to take the shot? You can be the first one to say, put me, sign me up. They now say it's okay. Essentially, vaccines block you from getting and giving um, the virus. Windy City Live executive producer Hank Menheim returned from a Cape Cod vacation in July. There were 10 people of us, 10 people in our group in Cape Cod, and seven of the 10 tested positive for COVID, all of us vaccinated which Northwestern Hospital's Dr. Kalila Gates says means unlike previous variants, vaccinated people can transmit COVID. There's plenty more where that came from, but you get the idea. Now let's go over to the trending headlines for yesterday, Thursday, May 5th, 2022. Right at the top of the normie headlines is the normie headline that doesn't make sense. The FDA has sharply limited use of Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine, citing blood clotting risk. That is interesting. This was a conspiracy theory. This was discovered weeks after the vaccine was put into use in spring of 2021. This vaccine has been given to millions of Americans, and now it's being shown to cause thrombosis and other blood clotting diseases. This is 18.7 million Americans were given this weeks after the vaccine came out. Johnson & Johnson knew about it. The bottom line is we're not saying it's a bad vaccine, but yeah, we have mandated that you use a different one. The, the audacity. We're, we're not going to tell you it's bad, but you can't take it. And if you're under 18, you legally cannot have it. But yeah, it's not bad. We didn't make a bad vaccine. There's nothing wrong with it. So that was a conspiracy theory. I'm not going to show you the footage of the blood clotting because it's disgusting and I was viscerally disgusted by it. Mm -hmm. 
Mumbaclat, a Jamaican curse word that is extremely difficult to explain in English terms. The most basic interpretation anyone has or can give of the word is or shit. And to be honest, if you explain it to anybody that's not Caribbean, that is as accurate as it can get. But it's still incorrect. In all honesty, there is no synonym for the word. Bumbaclad is what it is. In the same hospital with Biggie Smalls died. The doctor said I had blood clots, but I ain't Jamaican, man. Story on MTV and I ain't trying to make a band. So Kanye West's lyrics about Jamaicans and blood clots is a reference to the Jamaican Patois accent, which makes the word bumbaclat sound like blood clot sometimes, especially from the older rural Jamaicans. So when you hear about blood clots, well, if you're Jamaican, you're Jamaican me crazy at this point. That's what, that's what I think of. This is the, uh, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you read this kayfabe headline? My, the first thing that comes to my mind is it's up and down manufactured cognitive dissonance. The thrombosis was a concern of conspiracy theorists on Wednesday and on Thursday it's officially announced as uh, happening to Americans who received the vaccine we were told was fine and now we're told it's not a bad vaccine but you can't take it you probably should take something else or you'll get blood clots so the reference to the Jamaicans and the blood clots and the bumba clots and the Jamaican me crazy there's something in the way I'm trying to run the race I'm trying to win the rat race and we got hurdles trying to get over the trying to get over the hurdles while well, they're Jamaican you crazy I was supposed to be sprinting a 50 meter dash and all of these hurdles are in my way. Am I in the wrong race? Is this about race? Did you guys lap me? The Jamaicans ran so fast they got the Rasta far eye and they can see farther, right? So they got real high, they can see further and now they know it's kayfabe. Ah.